and welcome. Today, we are going to talk about sprites. What is a sprite? How do you make one? How do you use one in your project? That is what we're going to talk about today. First, you might notice that there's a whole sprites category in Make Code Arcade. That gives you all these blocks that have to do with your sprite. Let's look at what a sprite is real quick. A sprite is a two-dimensional object that can move and change. It's like a picture that does something, but it's so much more than just an image. In Make Code Arcade, sprites have other properties associated with them like position, size, direction, acceleration, velocity, and lifespan. Also, if you use one of our special extensions, Arcade Sprite Data, you have the ability to set your own properties on your sprite. Okay, let's look at how we make a sprite. We're gonna head over to the sprite category and we have this set sprite block. We'll pull that out. These are the parts of the set sprite block. First, you have the sprite name. This is a variable, a name that we'll call the sprite by when we try and reference it later in our program. Then we have the image that we're going to set the sprite to right in this block. You can have a sprite without an image, you just won't see it. Our sprite is going to be the mushroom guy today. Next, you have the kind of your sprite. This is not to be confused with the name because the name refers to this individual sprite. The kind is the group it belongs to. This will be a player sprite, so we'll go ahead and leave this as it is. Later, if we wanna change the kind in the game, we need to bring out another block because using this block again would just create a second sprite with the same name, and that'll cause trouble. As you can see, there are all kinds of kinds to choose from, or you can add a new kind of your own. Maybe you wanna put fuel in there. It's as easy as that. The kinds don't give your sprite any additional powers or properties. It just lets you refer to an entire group of sprites all at once. Now we have a sprite. Let's make it do something. We can quickly just add the controller block to make the sprite move around. Now we need another sprite for it to interact with. Let's create a sprite of kind food. Mmm ice cream. Great. You'll see that the two sprites are now overlapping. This is a very large ice cream. Also, we don't have to live with the sprite name that we've been given. We can change them. When we talked about sprites having properties, well, we can change those properties. We are going to grab a set my sprite x2 and we're going to change the horizontal position of the ice cream. Now it's out of the way of my other sprite. I think that ice cream might be a little bit too big, so I'm gonna go in and pick something a little smaller. There, that looks great. Now we have a smaller ice cream of kind food that's moved just a little bit over so that we can see both things. Now we wanna make something happen when these two items overlap. Fortunately, we have a block that will detect when two different sprites overlap. So this says when sprite of kind player overlap other sprite of kind player. Well, we want something to happen when our, ooh, let's change this back to player. When our sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind food. So we're going to change this to food. Now, the whole time that we're working inside this container, sprite will refer to whichever player overlapped the food. Other sprite will refer to whatever food the player overlapped. So we'll use these names instead of these names. Okay, what do we want to have happen when the player overlaps the food? Let's give a point. Fantastic, let's try it out. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of points, but we only want one point per ice cream. How do we make that happen? 
Well, when you reached the ice cream, we need the ice cream to quickly stop touching the Sprite. So we need to change the ice cream's location really quickly inside this container. We can do that by affecting the position property of the Sprite. Now remember, we don't wanna use the My Sprite position here. But when we wanna move the food, we need to use the other Sprite name. Now we need to set the other Sprite somewhere. We are gonna move this to a random spot every time. Go between zero and 160, which is the width of the screen. and then Y direction will go between zero and 120, which is the height of the screen. You can also use the screen width here and the screen height here. Now let's see what happens. Excellent. I could do this all day, literally. I could do it all day. There's nothing stopping me. There's no enemies, no timer, anything. So to make this a complete game, let's just quickly go in and add a timer. Great, now we have a goal. We wanna get the ice cream as many times as we can before the time runs out. Only when the time runs out, it makes a sad noise. Let's change that. We'll go back to info and we'll say that when the timer runs out, we want to win the game. Perfect! Now we have a fun game we can play using sprites. We've seen how to create a sprite, how to choose your sprite, and how to use your sprite. Let's talk a little bit about drawing a sprite of your own. We have a couple of ways to make that happen. You can click on the box of the sprite you're wanting to design and come into our editor, or you can flip over to the assets tab and click on the sprite in there. There, now we have a sprite. You can go to the gallery and choose a different sprite and it will overwrite the one you have, or you can draw one all of your own. I'm gonna press Control A to highlight everything here and I'm just gonna delete this guy and now we can draw a sprite of our own. Let's take a look at what we can do in the sprite editor. Obviously, we can click here and say that we're done. Zoom in, zoom out. We can undo and redo. We can name the sprite. If we give our sprite a name, it's going to treat this as a master copy and we can use it over and over in multiple places. And then if we change the named version, it will change all copies of that. This is the size of our sprite. Maybe we don't want it 16 by 14. Maybe we want it 24 by 24. And that's gonna change the canvas size here. Then we have all of our colors to choose from and our tools, the pencil, the eraser, we have a square and a circle, a fill tool, a line tool, the marquee that you can use to select things, and the hand you can use to move things around. You have all different size brushes. Let me show you, here's the big one. Here's the medium one. And here's the small one. Draw yourself a little shape. If you want to change the color, you can use the fill tool and fill it in. Change your pencil to the right size and draw. Now you'll see our game update and you can play with your new sprite. And there you have it, the ins and outs of using sprites in Make Code Arcade. I hope this video helped you to create your own sprite in your own game. Until next time, Happy coding. <laughs>